Whitecaps hosting the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, and this one was a pitcher's duel. West Michigan starter was awesome. Carlos Guzman strikes out the side in the fourth. He tossed five scoreless frames and struck out five. The bullpen, just as sharp. Chavez Fernander struck out the side in the seventh. The bullpen tossed four innings of one-hit ball and struck out seven. Bottom of the ninth, still no score. Josh Kraus trying to change that. Looking for the walk-off winner, but it's off the wall and right for a double. He's got a nine-game hitting streak. He would move to third on a fielder's choice. Caps only had five hits tonight, but Jake Holtons was the one that got the job done. Opposite field base hit. There's your game winner. Caps win it in a walk-off, one zip. The Tigers are making their last preparations before the 2020 MLB draft on Sunday. And if they draft another pitcher in the first round, they hope he follows the developmental path of last year's first rounder because Ty Madden is leaving his mark here in West Michigan. For the Whitecaps, Madden has been absolutely dominant on the mound recently. Since June 1st, he has been nothing short of exceptional, allowing just two runs. He's also struck out 37 batters, has an ERA of .53. And Madden feels pretty good with how he's played as of late and thinks it's because he's in more of a routine of being a pro as opposed to being in college. I think my secondary stuff has definitely got a lot better. I've also, I'd say, became more adaptable. Um, in school, everything was was planned out a lot more. And in minor league baseball, you got to adapt for you play a lot more games. And so, just getting my feet wet in that category and um, figuring out my routine. And uh, I think on the mound, just my secondary stuff has gotten more consistent for sure. Madden and the Whitecaps are obviously back in town this week. He slayed to start toward the end of the Timber Rattlers series.